We mentioned we had some information on a big deal we learned of over the weekend, and here it is. This is a big deal, not because either one of those teams is expected to win a World Series, but because it was former first-round draft choices wow. swapped for one another. A.J. Puck, a little longer in the tooth, has had some uh, injury concerns and has had a, a hard time really uh, meeting the, the really big potential that he's got. Maybe that will come in South Florida, and in return, the A's get a guy in J.J. Blade, who was considered one of the real jewels of the 2019 draft. Really wow. interesting trade wow. when former first rounders are swapped for one another. Um, and again, Blade hasn't had the kind of big league exposure that Puck has. Puck's got a million dollar arm. He's just had some rough injury years. This is a fascinating deal for both sides. Yeah, it's, it's, it's intriguing because you sit there and you go, all right. Um, Blade, you don't know what he's going to do yet. He hasn't been up enough, and AJ's been injured, like you're talking about. It's not like they needed a change of scenery. Yeah, this is just the club switched, and I, I don't know what to take of it. Um, are the Marlins how are they going to use AJ Puck? Is he coming out of the pen? Is he, are they going to think about maybe making the starter again? You know that that's intriguing to me. And then Blade, he's going to get a chance to play in Oakland. That's right. So he's going to be excited about that. Yep, Maybe the Marlins, what I take away from this, I'll throw it back to you, Matt. Maybe the Marlins think they're closer to being ready to contend than, than I've given them credit. And, you, and, and like Puck is kind of a finishing piece type yeah, thing? Yeah, helping them get there. It's not, it's not a bad thought. Look, that, that what we just saw on the screen there, their bullpen is dramatically improved, yes. at least in terms of name value. Absolutely. Right? I mean, we're not intimately familiar with everything they have in the pipeline and their developmental system, but there's some names on there that have been added, Matt Barnes, et cetera, who will shagwa guys that will help them this year. Yeah. Um, as far as what the A's got in Blade, nobody doubts the talent. You know, J.J. Blade missed an entire season when the COVID season was canceled. Mm -hmm. And I've heard right. you talk about this a lot with other players. Those key developmental years right after you're drafted, to sit on the sidelines all year and not play competitively, in a system, in an organization, yeah. you don't, you can't quantify what that's taken from a guy. So, he, right. like you said, he's going to have a chance to play every day potentially with the A's, and it's a pretty exciting deal for them. Yeah, and, and also the other thing that happens with a player like that when he goes to a different organization, the A's have the freedom now to say you're going to play Triple A all year, if that's what they so felt to do. That'd be hard for the Marlins to do, right? Because you expect them to be right. in the big leagues, and you know, it's a guy supposed to be there. The A's can say, you really haven't played enough. We want you to play the first half in AAA. You're going to come up and play the full time in the big leagues. Unless you show us in spring training, you're ready. Because he needs that development still. Yeah, yeah. Left-handed hitting outfielder, a little pop, like multi-talented guy. That's a, that, that could be a win-win for both teams.